Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and honored judges. We've all dreamed at one point in our lives of finding buried treasure. We've all imagined setting off on an expedition to a far and foreign land, searching through jungle-covered ruins, entering the forbidden temple, finding the golden monkey idol, and then being chased out by a giant boulder and a group of indignant locals amongst a barrage of blow darts and arrows. But the real question that us as archaeologists have to pose to ourselves is what do we actually do when we find what most others would call buried treasure? And the answer is no, we don't take that shit right to the bank. <laughs> Although I do get that question quite a bit, we don't get to keep what we find. Although we do get to have incredible opportunities like this to come and talk about our finds. So I don't get to keep the jade, but I get to tell you about it. Now, as archaeologists, what we actually do is try and find meaning for what we've, what we've discovered, but not just meanings that hold value in our culture. So by just saying we found buried treasure or we found a cache of royal jewels, this doesn't actually tell us anything at all. This only tells us our own Western stereotypes and Hollywood cliches. So as archaeologists, we try and find what our discoveries meant to the culture that we are studying. <clears throat> now for myself, I had the honor of making a discovery of my own. I've been working in Belize for the past three years at the site of Kaka Beach. We were excavating within a plaza area. So this is a big open area with pyramids on either side. When we excavated down to the very bottom, we hit bedrock. We were not expecting to find anything, but what we actually found was a burial and over 47 beautifully carved jade objects. Now the real thing is that this was placed directly in the bedrock. Now you have to remember that for the ancient Maya, the bedrock itself represented the underworld. And caves, entrances to the underworld, were the means of communicating from the above realm and that below. So when we as archaeologists find discoveries like this, specifically this one placed in the bedrock, we have to ask what did this actually mean to the ancient Maya? Now I can't get into it too much, again, you're welcome to refer to the thesis, but what we think may have been the case is that by taking your deceased ancestor, by placing them into a pit carved in the bedrock, the ancient Maya were actually placing this ancestor as a mediator between the worldly realms and the realms of the underworld. So the realm of the gods and those ancestors that were deceased before. Now the real crux to this is that by doing this, you had particular access to the underworld as well. Thank you very much.